take you in an old intermediate shaft and I'm going to measure from this shoulder right here to right here and make that 5 inches 503 thousandths. This is the shim that comes on there. You're going to want to take the shim off before you make your tool. So, this is pretty close. I'm within a few thousandths. Anyway, you're going to take that and you're going to line that up. You're going to drop that in there. Now you can make your own. Make your own bar if you want to. It's got to be a half inch thick. You just want it to fit across here. The dimensions are uh, twelve inches across here, uh, two and a quarter inches across here, and a half inch thick. And then you got this where you can stick your um, calipers through. Alright, best I can do with the mediocre tools I got here. I don't have a lathe or anything like that, so this side over here, uh, I measured, I made my tool with a, a tranny that I knew hadn't been touched before, and had to, everything should have been right from the factory. So that's how I came up with what I came up with. Um, they say to make your tool from here to here is five inches five hundred and three thousandths. Now mine ended up having to be uh, five inches four hundred and twenty six thousandths in order to make all the readings come out right. So when I once I did that and I'm checking this one uh, I measure across here to here and I can measure it several different spots and, and I got to get it up off of here off the output shaft so it's not pushing up against it and once you do that and you make your measurements you can divide it by four and when I come up with that the uh, the shim should have been 175 thousandths which is what it is so I can go put that back on the tranny. Uh, this shim here, well, the, actually the bearing goes here. And the shim's gonna go on the back of the piston. This one here should have been 198 to 198 to 200 thousandths. Closest I have is 196, close enough. I'm gonna see if this comes out right. Uh, stacking this up. What was in there was uh, 213 thousandths. So we're going to stack this up and see if this comes out right as far as the way the Transgo says to do it. When I was in a Transgo class years and years ago, he showed us a way to do it that uh, was a little different. So you take the flat snap ring, this is the way it always goes. You put that in, put your wavy snap ring on top. And since this is a 48RE, uh, we got the, the one pressure plate back here that's uh, 215, I believe is what they are. Yeah, 215. And then we got uh, five clutches and four steels or I think one, two, three, four, five and five. All right, normally you would put the uh, Normally you would put this snap ring in, but we're going to leave that off for right now. We're going to put our piston on here. And we need to come up with the drill bit that's a hundred thousandths. It's a hundred and twenty. And let me find one. 
And here's one that's 104, that's close enough. Might be too much. Let's see if we can find one. This one's a 120, and let's see if it'll go in there. And according to Transgo, that's too much. So I got one that's thinner than that. It's not enough. This one says one hundred and eighty three thousandths. says it can be, uh, Transgo says 95 to 115 thousandths and this is 104. And 104. So, we are going to call that one good. Put our snap ring in here. We can go put our shim on the vehicle, put our piston back in the vehicle, and uh, road test this one and see what we got. All right, I don't know if I said it or not. You take that bearing off and you do four measurements from here to here, here to here to here on this thing with the weight up off of it and uh, divide that measurements by four and whatever that measurement is you should be able to tell you what shim you to use now let's say this the difference between doing it transgo way and the book way is about ten thousandths so transgo's way is going to tell you about ten thousand shorter Book way said I should have had 200 thousandths. Transgo's way said 183, which is what I ended up with. Either way, so I'm going to try the Transgo uh, shim on there first, and we'll see what it does. All right, here's the shims. It says that you should have with the measurements that you come out with. 